Kingston College and Edwin Allen win 2022 Boys and Girls National Championship. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Yard and Abroad TV, people. If this is your first time over here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. It will be greatly appreciated. So, viewers, Kingston College return to the summit of boys high school athletics, winning the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys Championship for the 33rd time in their history. KC captured their second title in four years, amassing 372 points, dethroning Jamaica College, who finished runners-up with 300.83 points. Calabar completes the top three with 170 points. Edwin Allen High continued its impressive run in this championship, winning its eighth straight girls title and ninth overall. The school from Frankfield Clarendon finished with 352 points ahead of Heidel High, who were second with 295 points. St. Jago High finished third with 249 points. So people, remember it was always St. Jago home with them school that took over the girls' title, but now um, Edwin Allen has surpassed past them people this is their eighth championship eight consecutive at that people say so you know say them are produce some great talent out of edwin allen and kingston college is always there you know they're always there in this championship they're always winning as well as you said before as i said before this is their 33rd championship overall so they've been winning up the boys' side for quite some time. Calabar is always there as well and Jamaica College. But Kingston College is victorious this year, people. And these championships always um, have some great talents, people. There's this young man that they must say, oh, they found the next Usain Bolt. He was in a really where he legit was like thinking last place or something like that people and he was able to win that relay so on the back stretch the middle of the day we need them all take that for you all as well so to the end lines to the middle of the day on the back side for them as we come to the second chain it's Jamaica College take that for you also on the blind day here it's Jamaica College take that for you it's Jamaica College and Edwin Allen as we turn for home Jamaica College and take that for you it's Jamaica From nowhere to somewhere, 40.26 for St. Diego to take the class one boys. Go by 100 meters relay, 40.40 for St. for Jamaica College, and 40.50 for St. Catherine third. And you also have the twins from Edwin Allen people, and you have Brianna Liston. Set. Set position off the first time of asking. Liston got a great start. Kelly's trying to stay with her. Woolery's also trying to stay with her. But it's all about Brianna Liston at the moment. Look at that beautiful transition of the curve. The high speed speedball is on a different level. She's gone about her business. The battle is really on for silver and bronze. Brianna Liston, a fantastic performance. 22.52 new record. A stunning and imperious performance by Brianna Liston. What a run! A run for the ages and a run to simply take your breath away. Take that for the band. Oh wow! 2253, Kelly Silver. Negative. 2259 for Kelly Silver. Walker Bronze. But it's all about this young lady, Brianna Liston. The fastest time ever run at Girls Champs 22.53. The most impressive part of that race, doing extra will tell you, was the wind reading. It was negative 2.20 meters per second. 
um, another young sensation people Jamaica track and field talents it, it, it's right there people it's right there we just have to just make sure say um, these youngsters are in the right hand and you know we are provide the right programs for them so we can keep them running and doing well for Jamaica in the near future so people may give you our rundown of the final point standing for the boys um, as I told you already, Kingston College had 372, Jamaica College had 300.83, Calabar 170, St. Jago 147, Edwin Allen High 95, St. Elizabeth Technical 88, Excelsior High 56, Woolmers Boys 55, Herbert Morrison Technical 35.33, and to round out the top 10, Manchester High with 32 points. On the girls' side, Edwin Allen High had 352, Heidel High 295, St. Diego High 249, Homewood Technical 174. In fifth place, Excelsior High with 107, St. Catherine High 83, Woolmers Girls 83, Immaculate Conception 76. Veer Technical 53 and number 10 Camperdon High with 38. So I think it was a very productive um, boys and girls championship people because this is the first one since COVID take on the world in 2020 people. So you know people like everybody um, was excited for this one and you know I'm glad say it happened and it was violence free haven't heard anything major happen so and that's always a good thing because sometimes when a bunch of kids you know link up in one spot the outcome sometimes can be bad but i'm very happy that everybody enjoy themselves at these championships you see me people um let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this year's um boys and girls championship people let me know your thoughts on it all right Bless up yourself once again from Yard and Abroad TV. Much love and appreciation. Bless up. Big up in yourself, people. At the moment, for superb sprinting stuff. Wilson, Spencer, Walker, Clayton, Liston, Clayton, and James. Set. Set bang away. Brianna Liston, another great start by her. The Clayton twins are trying to stay with her. Tina Clayton hops to the front now. Brianna Liston is trying to fight back. It's Liston from Tina Clayton. Liston and Tina Clayton is very, very close indeed. It could be Liston. It could be Tina. Set. The set position off the first time of asking. Liston got a great start. Kelly is trying to stay with her. Woolery is also trying to stay with her. But it's all about Brianna Lister at the moment. Look at that beautiful transition of the curve. The high speed speedball is on a different level. She's gone about her business. The battle is really on for silver and bronze. Brianna Liston, a fantastic performance. 22.52, new record. A stunning and imperious performance by Brianna Liston. What a run, a run for the ages and a run to simply take your breath away. Take that to the back. Oh, wow. 22.53, Kelly Silver. Negative 22.59 for Kelly Silver. Walker Bronze. But it's all about this young lady, Brianna Liston. The fastest time ever run at Girls Champs, 22.53. The most impressive part of that race, doing extra will tell you, was the wind reading. It was negative. 2.20 meters per second.